Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. It's a Thursday night here. I took a nap after work. And I woke up at about 10.30. So now it's about 1.15 in the morning. I just relaxed with a nice uh, bowl of Peterson Summertime Blend. And I'm drinking a beer. I hope it'll put me to sleep. I have to work tomorrow, so I'm not planning on a long run tonight, but I think we'll continue with Flutelban. There he is. Flutelban is level 18 now, and he's done fairly well for himself. It appears he's finished both Snake and Shoals. I hadn't realized he was this far along. Also two levels of Elf orc and it looks like we have no choice but to dive for the vaults now. We'll take a look at our gear here. Uh, nothing screams out at me as being excellent. Oh! Well the intelligence plus five gloves look pretty good. The wizard hat of intelligence. Not bad. The robe is decent enough, and I suppose we'll carry around this ringmail as well. It has uh, resist fire on it. It looks like we've already cleaned out our inventory, so there's nothing much to drop. Staff of Wizardry, let's check out our spells. Firestorm is coming along at 36%. Looks like a pretty good run for Flutelban. I have some hope. Um, in the dungeon we've gone down to level 15, so let's go back down there and see what we can find. Ugly things. Let's pop back up. I have forgotten all the spells, um, so I'll be playing a little slowly so I don't make any mistakes. Let's check our skills. Armor is at 10, which isn't necessary when we're using a robe. Dodging is at 10, fighting is at 10, and by all accounts we're working on Firestorm right now. Um, oops, probably shouldn't have done that. Let's uh, blink if we have it. We don't. But we can swiftness away. So that's what we'll do. Let's check the hunger level of our spells. It looks like Orb of Destruction is hungerless, so we won't hesitate to use it. We got sick, but it appears that we didn't take any damage from the sickness. It looks like we have Gourmand as well, which might come in handy. Okay, this staircase looks a little better, and it would appear as if I've been here already. I'm not sure if I made it to the Minotaur's Lair in time, but it's too late to worry about that now. Um, I think we'll use an Orb of Destruction on this fellow. There we go. And let's fill up on his delicious chunks. Do we have Repel Missiles? We do. We'll get in the habit of putting that on. We probably don't need it. There we go. What is our channeling? Uh, invocations is at 6.1. That's decent. Wand of Disintegration might come in handy. Hmm. The 
these fellows take a lot of uh, damage. They tank a lot of damage. We will employ our sticky flame and perhaps swiftness to keep ahead of them. I am playing very conservatively here because I want to win the game. And Flutalban has a good chance of doing it. It just came to my mind that this is supposed to be a tutorial. I guess it's gotten past the tutorial point at this point. But I'll continue to speak as if I'm uh, trying to teach new players, I guess. Although, at this level of the dungeon, I am not entirely an authority. Suffice to say, it does get dangerous down here. As you can see, I'm focusing mostly on fire spells, um, but some utility is in order. Uh, haste is always a must. Uh, regeneration is useful, but not necessary. Flight, I could probably get rid of right now. Uh, swiftness is always good. I have Bolt of Fire, and Summon Butterflies can be, and usu usually is a lifesaver. I have the Amulet of the Gourmand, so I'm able to get my hunger status up to Engorged. Goliath Beetle. Normally I wouldn't cast so many orbs, but uh, I like orbs. And we've got the mana for it. We also have hungerless uh, orbs of destruction, so I'm going a little, little orb happy. Right now we're searching for the vaults. And the vault is, uh, is a fun and exciting branch. It's changed in this version, and I don't have too much experience with it. Uh, sometimes when you see a skeleton or a zombie, it's always good to look at them just to make sure what you're dealing with. That was just a normal Yaktar uh, skeleton. But I thought it might be prudent to use an orb of destruction anyway. We also have access to Bolt of Fire, which I believe is also hungerless. It is. Its power level is pretty good, thanks to our Staff of Wizardry, in part. It's also on rather an inconvenient key. See, one orb probably would have finished him off there. Let's activate Swiftness and get some distance. Uh, that way we can also block the large rocks that are certain to be hurling in our direction. And we'll line them all up for a nice bolt of fire. There's another one. In a situation like that, the Orb of Destruction tends to run into walls. Okay, we're out of mana here. I'm going to channel and stand next to the uh, Vampire Mosquito. Luckily, we avoided all damage, and I was able to take him down with one sticky flame. All of these ice creatures I'm are encountering are uh, fodder for my fire spells, so I'm not too concerned. Uh, the Hydra here, we're going to uh, we're going to launch an orb at him. Let's hit him with a sticky flame. I stood in his range for one turn there. But being a four-headed Hydra only, I wasn't too concerned. Here's another one. We'll get him with an orb and a fireball. And we'll do the same thing with a Sogar. Aha! We have an Orc Knight after us now. Uh, we're going to turn to fireball. Because where there's one Orc, there are many. I'm going to try a Bolt of Flame. 
and get them both. And now we're going to step upstairs just to recover our mana. Um, do we have anything other than Orb of Destruction? That's our only choice for taking out Ibs. So we made short work of them. Tomorrow is Friday. These are fire ugly things, so we're going to be employing the Orb of Destruction as they are resistant to fire. Uh, tomorrow's Friday, so I imagine I'll be putting out a few videos on the weekend, hopefully. I know video production has been a little slow lately. Sometimes real life gets in the way. And there's not too much that can be done about that, unfortunately. One day, perhaps I'll retreat to the countryside and take up some leisurely hob hobbies. I don't really much care for city life. But unfortunately, this is where we must make our bread and butter. Did that fire bounce? I think they bounce off the uh, off the green walls there. I should uh, should take care not to get hit with my own fire spells. Not to brag or anything, but I assume they're fairly deadly. Uh, let's dine on some orc here. We're getting a little low in hunger status. Let's also do a search for artifact. See if we missed anything. Twisted plate armor. We have uh, some leather armor there. A bow, which is excellent. A hand axe, which is fairly decent. Wizard hat of the fiend, but our intelligence boost is a little better. There's a great sword there. We haven't bothered to check out. The Ring of Roar. Hunger minus. That one's alright. It's in a store though for 900 gold. I might pick that up later. Let's see what rings we're currently wearing. Protection from cold and Ring of Intelligence. Let's uh, see our resistances. We do not have resist fire. I believe we have a ring. We, d we do have a ring of fire, but nothing protecting from fire. So we'll be on the lookout for that. There's an orange crystal statue. They're very evil things. Uh, let's see if we can wake up this fellow. And perhaps he'll open the door for us. I like the look of this vault. But those orange crystal statues are not to be played with. I could most likely get them with an orb of destruction. And I'm not too worried about these crystal golems. Hmm. Let's put on swiftness and haste. And we'll open the door. We are confused immediately. This might have been a bad idea. We'll cure out of it. And we'll try to run. Our intelligence is damaged already, but we have escaped. Um, I should have read this a little more carefully. They are immune to fire. So we're left with orbs of destruction. Luckily, they seem to be very slow. I am going to retreat towards the stairwell. Actually, I'm going to channel some mana 
and if there's a restore abilities potion I have, which I do, I'm going to quaff it. It's a bit of a waste, but I want to be at my best. It would have been a much better idea to have uh, cleaned out the entirety of the dungeon before I opened that vault, or this dungeon level rather. So let's just carefully make our way down there. Luckily they are slow, or rather I'm fast. I used to be anyway. Not so fast now. Excellent. There's at least one more hanging around. And why don't I have delayed fireball memorized? Let's uh, cast that right now. Good. Let's rest up and make our way back to the vault. See what we can do about that orange crystal statue. We do have disintegration. However, stepping into range of that thing is uh, it's not really recommended. You get confused immediately. I am going to try to launch some orbs of destruction. and hope that they hit their mark. And I think I'll use up my full mana bar here. Maybe even more. Orange crystal statues have killed me many, many times. I'm very wary of them. Uh, that one went off the rails a little bit. I'm not sure where that one went. That one seemed to have flown true. Let's step into the zone and see what we have. Aha! Uh -huh. We have a fully intact orange crystal statue. Let's try and disintegrate it. That worked beautifully. Some statues you can disintegrate easily and some you can't. I wasn't sure about the orange crystal statue. Probably would have been wise to have read up on it a little bit. But sometimes I like to live dangerously. We have a ring mail here. A nice ring. Scroll of recharging. Another ring. Hand axe. Okay, not a bad haul. I'm particularly interested in the ring mail. So let's identify it. Resist cold and it's cursed and it's minus one. Well, that is not, not worth carrying around. One of these days I'll transition to the ring mail of responsibility that I'm carrying. Um, but that will have to wait till Firestorm is, uh, is castable, more castable. Oh, hello. <laughs> what a cascade of chunks. <laughs> okay, um, also of interest are those two rings I picked up. Let's just make sure we have some Roof Curse. We do, we have plenty. Uh, I suppose we'll try them on. Identify the first one, see invisible. Our cloak, give, or our, our robe gives us that power, so we don't have to be too concerned about this ring. However, if we do take it off, it might come in handy. And there's our protection from fire. 
which is probably better than protection from cold at this point. And that's the only problem with the... Oh, the ring mail of responsibility is protection from fire too. Why exactly am I wearing this robe again? Because of the sea invisible, I suppose. Firestorm's at 36%. Let's try on the ring mail. Firestorm's at 56%. That's why I'm wearing the robe. Let's put on protection from cold. And we don't want to lose the intelligence. Hmm, so we don't want to put on the ring of invisibility right now. I don't want to be bothered by invisible creatures. But let's just take the chance for a little bit. Having a 21 armor class could very well save my life. Um, let's channel. We're protected from fire, so we're all right for now. And here's a god gift. We'll pick it up, burden ourselves, and see what we have. Nothing much. I can go in the library. We'll eat a chunk, and we're back to we're back to we're back in good standing with our carry weight. Uh, never fight or travel burdened if you can help it. Let's put on repel missiles just to stay safe and uh, fire them. Get some mana back and eat the centaur. I think an orb of destruction is in order there. I almost feel like raising my armor level a little bit. Actually, I almost feel like putting back on the robe. I think we'll do that just for now. That brings our armor class down to 15, which isn't terrible. And we have the buckler. And we're not going to be surprised by uh, invisible creatures. Um, I'm going to put on swiftness just to stay a step ahead of these fellows. I hope that they change from fire to something more killable. There we go. Ooh, Firestorm is down to 26%. We have not yet found the entrance to the vaults, apparently. We're in dungeon level 16, so we have explored two possible floors where the vault entrance might lie. I think uh, finding another stairwell is probably a good idea at this point. The vaults can spawn as low as level 20, so we might be in for a bit of a fight. Oh, what a perfect place for Firestorm. Let's just try it out. Come on, come on. There we go. That was a little weak for a Firestorm. Let's go back upstairs and take the third staircase down. Um, I don't like the looks of a shining eye here. A huge and strangely deformed floating eyeball pulsating with flesh-twisting flesh energy. Beauty is certainly nowhere to be found in this beholder. Alright. It uh, has the ability to mal-mutate. Um, 
and it is not resistant to fire so we'll kill it immediately we don't want to fool around with mutations now do we if I was having a less than satisfactory run I might consider it but so far things are going swimmingly oops I meant to fireball them but that works just as well uh, let's go with fireball here make a bit of uh, a racket and draw in anything from the dungeon that might be lurking up there okay the coast seems clear plenty of poisonous ugly things here so we'll use our fireball hmm let's just orb this fellow and recover our mana another ring cold versus fire and fire won that time uh, it looks like fireball work here as they are grouped together always do your best to conserve mana as much as possible that is your lifeblood as a caster in this game always retreat with some mana that is a rule that I usually follow and it takes some discipline it's easy to get a little over exuberant and want to finish off your enemies but they will still be there when you return uh, I'm almost tempted to firestorm these this bunch and I think I'll try it there we go very nice very very nice that looks like a very nice shield uh, by the time we get to the vaults um, we should have a somewhat operational firestorm which might make for a very pleasant vaults experience although that last level of the vaults is always something to be very wary of uh, let's ignore that it appears as if we're getting towards the being burdened off in here we might want to visit the stash and drop some things off here's Orc Town and let's check out this book Transfigurations nothing I want alright let's take a trick a quick trip upstairs to uh, to Lair 2 I believe I believe that's where my stash is and we'll just drop off all the junk we don't need gives us a chance to get a little bit more experience and as we have Gormond we're not really losing much we're certainly not losing any piety with Sif Muna wasting time like this we are losing points I suppose if we oh the eye of draining is draining me uh, we are losing points if we win the game die but that's okay I'm not yet in the at the point of my crawl career where I care about points I care about wins right now oh there's the stash okay books are heavy we'll drop them don't ask me why I'm keeping them I never plan on using them uh, wands are heavy as well so we'll drop a few of these the random effects, the flame, the frost 
which I shouldn't have been picking up in the first place. Disintegration is very handy, so we'll keep the full one. And we might as well try out this forked copper wand. And I'm going to go crazy and just try it on myself right away. Polymorph. Let's drop that. Um, we can also drop a little bit of food. Where is the food pile? There we go. We'll drop the bread rations, one of the meat rations, and uh, the apple. We'll keep the chocos. As for scrolls, we have a few of those to drop as well. Uh, we'll drop amnesia. We do not need it. Uh, enchant weapon. Uh, three scrolls of remove curse. Uh, two scrolls of fog. Yeah. And silence. We're not going to be using that as we are a caster, and that would render us helpless. We'll keep the fear and one recharging just in case. Let's also try on this diamond ring we've picked up. We're about at the point where we've identified all the rings, I think. Poison resistance. Well, that came a little late. Let's put on the protection from fire. What was I wearing before? See invisible? No, protection from fire, I suppose. Okay, back down. Let's dive for those vaults. More killer bees. There's bound to be more of them. Yeah, a lone killer bee, that's rare. Should I check out that wizard hat? I don't think so. It's not going to be a wizard hat of intelligence. It's not branded. So we'll leave it be for now. We don't have to waste time with subpar equipment at this point. I'm still making good use of fireball. As you might see, the fireball still has uh, two pips of power to go. It's quite a powerful spell if you invest in it. Which we continue to do. Actually, our skills are not that great. It's surprising that we can cast Firestorm. Um, maybe not that surprising with a 41 intelligence, but uh, we are lucky to have such an early Firestorm available to us. And it's all due to the intelligence. Uh, we're going to channel here and just orb this fellow. Let's see if we can get them all with a bolt of flame. I'm just going to channel here and bolt of flame with them again. A couple more channels and sticky flame them down. Hopefully this yak will still be edible. I'm trying to eat. Well. There's plenty of orc if I can't eat the yak. There we go. Back to engorged. I accidentally took an extra little rest there. And lost my engorged status for a moment. But it's easy to fix with orc corpses strewn about the dungeon. There's a Sphinx Skeleton, they're fairly strong, so I'm going to orb him. Oh, what a nice firestorm this would be. Yes, yes, let's try it. That was a small firestorm, but it did the job beautifully. 
probably would have taken much more mana. Oh, Firestorm is... the hunger level is fairly reasonable. It would have taken much more mana to have uh, taken those fellows out without Firestorm. So, that was done purely in the interests of mana uh, conservation and not at all for fun. Repel missiles and uh, I want to make some noise so let's fireball a little bit. 15 mana down, we'll channel back some since we have chunks in our inventory. And it looks like there's the entrance to the vaults. Let's finish off this floor. Dragon Skeleton deserves some orbs of destruction. Firestorm is still stubbornly at 26%. Um, using two bolts of fire on that centipede was a little bit overkill. However, it's good to experiment with these things. Uh, you might notice that uh, my bolts of fire is missing quite often, which is a little perturbing seeing as the power is up fairly high. At this point, Orb of Destruction is more accurate. Um, there we go. One more orb. That might be a shapeshifter, but uh, I'm not sure what a slug is doing down here. Ogre Mage. I think this calls for a firestorm. Let's uh, hope I can get one off. There we go. The Ogre Mage is almost dead. There we go. It's not wise to leave them alive. They can cast you into the abyss. And that's not a pleasant place to be. I have had some luck escaping the abyss uh, lately. Skeletal Warrior, it might be better just to firestorm these guys if we can do it. Yeah. And a simple fireball should finish them off. Uh, let's let's drop another firestorm see if we can get one off here excellent and now we have one heavily damaged skeletal warrior which falls to a fireball now we dine on ogre and continue on The hungering wasn't wasn't too bad there from the firestorming. Ah, fire crab. Okay, I hate these guys, and I am wearing resist fire. Yes, protection from fire. Good. Fire crabs are annoying. Well, they can almost firestorm themselves. So it's good to. Uh, to make sure you have protection from fire and to take them out as quickly as possible. Yaktar zombie. Alright. Die. I just want to make sure that I have two runes here so I'm going to press my uh, squiggly bracket key. I do. One more rune and we're good to go. Down to Zot poke our heads up here. Get them in a line and use our bolt of fire. Sticky flame them when they get close. See if we can line them up again. Stubbornly they refuse to line up so we'll just bolt of fire and then use our fireball. And that looks to be level 18.
It is almost 2 o'clock in the morning, so it might be time to end the video now. Let's just take a peek into the vaults. Aha! Uh -huh. Potentially four of them can come up with us. This is actually a fairly bad situation. Um, we're going to climb upstairs, see how many do come up. Enough. But they're lined up, oh, so we're going to bolt to fire them. There we go. We took a little poison damage there. We're still poisoned. Let's put regeneration on. Wait out the poison if we can. And uh, down again. There's only two left. Sticky flame them both. Dance around a little bit. Get them lined up and use our bolt of fire. Okay, looks like we've breached the entrance to the vaults. We'll leave the video here for now. But we'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.